Hello fellow YouTubers, Bear Prepper here. This is a uh, two week harvest. Um, as you know, I only come out here every two weeks. I am a little disappointed with the tomatoes. A lot of them got eaten by the roly poly bugs. Green peppers are amazing. These are gonna go to the deer. And it uh, looks like I got a little blossom end rot going on. These are mostly gonna go to people. I'll keep one or two myself, but those are going to be gifts. These are spaghetti squash. These are the big Bertha bells, and then your regular bells. I know some of them are small, but if I'm not going to be out here for two weeks, I need to pick them now. Otherwise, they'll just rot on the vine. And these are my striped squash. We had an issue with the water. One of the valves blew. It's uh, blown twice before. So we're going to close it up and put a new one in, and that should help these problems. My camera, I forgot to bring it last time I was out here, so it's been a month since you got an update. These behind me were absolutely gorgeous a month ago. But when that water thing blew, they stopped getting water because they're at the end of the line of this second drip line. So they didn't get watered. So I'm really pleased they're still alive. And we've got the water issue taken care of or will have so they should perk right back up but some of them as you see ripened a little too quickly so I went ahead and pulled them off um, I was doing some reading on why some of them are striped and some of them are yellow it's just a genetic issue that happens and normally if you save the seeds from the striped ones you'll get mostly striped and if you save seeds from the solid, you'll get mostly solid. So I will be saving seeds from the solid one. So not a bad harvest. These green peppers amaze me. I'm going to have green peppers all year long. And like I said, I'm going to share some of these. So let my neighbors have a little taste here. So I'll give you a one-glance overview of the garden, especially what I got going on at the end. It's really pretty. Asparagus is doing quite well. I am pleased with it. We've got a couple of them put in seed. And then we have the strawberries here. Kind of tucked in. But uh, I'm pulling flowers off them still. They still haven't shut out, uh, put out runners yet. But they'll get there. And then we have the spaghetti squash. Where it looks a little dry in the center, but the tips are fine. These are the store purchased tomatoes. One was starting to go right, but of course it had roly polies in it, so it had to come off. I've seen another one there. That's gonna have to come off. Here is the striped squash. As you can see, it's doing pretty good. Water didn't affect it because it's on the second runner, so it should have been fine. Tomatoes, not near as big as I would hope. And uh, we've got some uh, damage going on. Let me take you over and show you. I have something absolutely stripping the vines. And I'm not sure what it is. But I am going to cut it down to here. And we've got another shoot coming up there. So I'm going to cut it to there. But as you see, it is completely stripping the vines. And this is where we had the bunny poop last time. So, we'll throw that out to the deer too. Or in my little compost bin. Matter of fact, I started a compost bin at the house. So, I don't want to show you the surprise up there. But, Right there in that corner. Uh, 
right there in that corner. I'm going to start me a compost bin. Well, compost pile. And uh, we'll get that going. I'll cut a couple more of these tomatoes off that have been stripped. And we'll go from there. Take a look at those tomatoes. They're going to be gorgeous. I think they're a cherry. And uh, I've got two of them. One there. Well, three of them, so I'm not sure. One there, and one way out there, and they're all loaded. So we will taste them. I got a couple ripe ones off it, and uh, I think next time we come out here, every single one of those is going to be red. Also notice we didn't have a lot of bird damage, mostly bug damage. So time to put my BT on.